Welcome back to my YouTube. What are we trading today? Pull, pull. So we're in for a pull session today. So I don't actually even know if I've done my pull session since I've come off prep on my YouTube. I might have done. Anyway, it's actually quite new because we've just reshuffled our training a little bit because we plateaued on some exercises and it was time to just have something fresh because it'd been 14 weeks. Um, just time to change it up. So we have got rid of the bands on our pulls. So we're going to do SLDL. Um, I do it slightly raised because the way that I'm built, I can't pull from the floor. I have super short arms, so that's why we raise it a little bit. Um, and then we, oh, we also have a hip thrust, you know, because I've got shit glutes. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I shouldn't say that, should I? I'll beep it. Okay. <laughs> Girl's gonna bleep it, it's all right. Um, and then we're gonna move on to some rowing stuff, some upper back stuff, some lat stuff. We'll go through it all. I'll go through each exercise. I'll be a little bit more, what's it called? Vocal. Fishazzy. <laughs> that's a new word, vocal. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I've actually dropped food a little bit, so I actually feel a little bit better for it. I feel a little bit less sluggish. It's only been two days and I've actually dropped a kilo and a half, so I actually feel quite nice for it. So we'll not pull it back for too long, just need to get the body a little bit more hungry because my appetite was low. Um, so yeah. Really good, so we're gonna go through pull now. So yeah, climb, climb So the first exercise is the glute drive. I'm just about to do it now, 240. Um, did it last time in 260, but it was a bit too heavy. Didn't get much connection with my glutes, so this time I dropped it down. Um, obviously focus on this is not to go all the way down, otherwise it won't have tension in your glutes. obviously hits the lower half and gets, gets that nice and warm. Right at the top of the movement you really get a lot of upper back and lap, especially if you're hitting the movement right. Um, so you need to warm that up now. You classic. Nah, knock the walls off. Fuck the whole key, we gon' hinge the whole door off. I'm still AD, never forget it. It's life after death, roll the credits. Hit up upper back first, a few exercises upper back, and then we'll move on to lap. 
And the first one is the cable lower. Um, obviously the idea here is to hit the other back. So watch how different my elbow path is and where my position of my chest is when I do upper back as opposed to the lap line. Lap bias stuff. You really used to do blah. My breath. I didn't used to do a lot of upper back focus stuff. Okay. No, it hasn't done for a while. I said that we needed to swap this. We've been doing this. No, I've just. I said it. I said it two like three weeks ago. This is. We've done this since our since we started. Kubo wanted us to rinse this for too long basically and I told him to change last time about three weeks ago but he didn't listen. So we're going to move on to a T-bar row instead next session which will, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, I didn't used to do a lot of upper back focus things so I feel like that's been a good thing for my back development. So yeah, just hitting every part with good form. I think good form. You can be the, de you can be the decider. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a much improved package. Oh! 
Good, King Go. Good. Easy, come on. Come on. Good. Come on, get it in, yes! forward when you're actually doing the movement as well. Really focus on bringing that arm quite close into the side and you'll really get a good connection with your lap. So yeah, I, f I feel like I'm telling people how to train. It is not a right or wrong way, but there is smarts and unsmarts. session so I'm currently 31 weeks out from my first show of the season like I said at the start doing a little bit of a pullback to get a little bit more hungry because food wasn't going down too well and um, we're just keeping an eye on that making sure that it stays nice and solid because when I find that I find that when I my appetite isn't very good I don't get very good pumps in the gym so we actually pulled some food yesterday so I was a little bit hungry going into session and my pumps really good um, and it's always important I think that you actually get a bit of a pump and feel good when you're training um, so that's where we're currently at that was my session of the moment so I hope that you enjoyed it I obviously the the posterior chain is what needed to come up mostly my delts too my I'm, i was happy with my quads last year um but apart from that everything else needed to come up like just density everywhere probably density through the quads as well i'm just being really self-critical now um but yeah 
I feel like the sessions that we've got going at the moment is definitely going to improve the final look on stage this year massively. So 31 weeks to get it. Very excited. So 11 weeks until we start prep. It doesn't feel like two seconds ago, but I actually feel really ready for it. If anything, mentally and physically, I do feel more ready for it this year than I did last year. I feel like the time that I had off was long, but this time around, I think that things have been done a, a little bit differently and yeah, I'm ready for it. Um, I'm excited to see the end look and see how I favour against some of the, the, the amazing girls that are of the figure division in the Pro League. It's, it's exciting for me because um, I look up to so many of them, so I'm excited to see where this, this season goes. But yeah, that is all. Anything that you actually want to see from my YouTube please do comment below or drop me a, a message on Instagram and um, please like and subscribe and there will be more content from me every um, two weeks. So thank you.